So this is how to model a building in Revit, a structural element in Revit from scratch to a pro. Hello everyone, I always welcome you to the course. My name is Jan Sasuimano and the name of my channel is Infinity Board Console. Please subscribe for updated videos. So guys, on today's tutorials, I'm going to provide you a very nice tutorial today on how to model a full complete structure element in Revit. We are going to do what? Learn how to do what? Create what? A full complete modeling of structure elements from beginners to what? A pro. So guys, let's move into our tutorials we have for you today. So this is a first template uh, which we are building on and before you can do anything in Revit or before you can uh, do add any elements you have to first add what your animation so we only have um, the ground level here we are going to add a series of um, levels after that we add what our columns we add our beams we add our root beams and also we add our roof and also the final thing is going to be what how to add the foundation base so we are just going to do with what just six columns and also provide um, beams after all we are going to get our general arrangement drawings and also get our general arrangement like roof plans so let's move on to what I have for you today so when I come to my east elevation I'm going to create a series of levels so I'm going to use 3 meters as the space and now I'm going to make here as first floor and also copy another floor which is 3 meters and I'm going to name this floor as second floor And the last floor will be 3 meters to be my roof okay so guys these are the series of level in which we have so i can also add my 1.5 which will be what my top of foundation so there is a tutorial which governs what a complete modern world of a structure element so without much or waste my time i just have to come to my view tab under the view tab i'll come towards my plan views under the structure element i'll select all these levels in which i just create so we are using what the structure area so these are the levels in which we have so with the ground level we are just going to place in what our column first so or the next or the best thing to do is provide what a, a grid lines so under the structure tab i'll just come to um i'll add grid lines in the model in which i'll start this one as well and i can copy a series of them as four meters and also i can do an offset or i can also create similar and I'll do 4 meters and I'll pick lines from here okay then I'll do a horizontal grid line horizontal grid line which I'll start from A and I'll copy 4 meters here Another four meters here. Okay. So I can hold this node here and then my um, elevate or my grid line down. So I'm going to add in a column. So under the column, I'll just pick my 300 by 300 column 
and I'll use column at grid, select all my grid lines here, and I'll do finish. So this is the column in which I have here, and also I'm going to add my B. So under the structure tab, I'll just have to come to B. So under the beam, I only have a, a, a steel section beam inside. I'm, I'm going to go to load, then browse through my generic structure framing in which I have it here. So this is the structure framing. I will choose concrete. Under the concrete, I will choose concrete rectangular beam. And it's going to load into my project. So after it has loaded into my project, I'll come to edit type. Under the edit type, I have um, an option to change the size in which I want. So I'll just have to come to duplicate and change my beam depth to 300 by 150 mm. So the height will be 300 and the breadth will be 150. So I can now add my beams in which we usually call it ground beams. So I will add my beam like that from midpoint of the column to a midpoint of the column. that I can select these columns or these beams in which I have and just do copy so if I want to copy multiple I will just have to click here after that I will do align and I will align all my beams to the edge After that, I can align my grid line to the midpoint of the V. So I'm going to leave it like this. The next thing to do is to add my floor. So I'll click on the floor and I'll use the generic 150. I just have to draw a rectangle right on top of it like this. So after placing my floor on top of my level, I can see my beams are not showing. So I'll just have to come to my visibility graphics and search for floor. Search for floor first. Under the floor, I'll just have to come to here. Show hidden lines. Then I'll choose the type of hidden lines I want to choose. After that, I'll come to my structure frame, frame, and search for hidden lines. Provide my hidden lines also here. So my header lines can still be shown. So I'll come to um, manage and manage I'll come to object style and the object style and cut there.
So I'll first have to hide this thing for now or I'll use the transparency of my floor. I search it for floor transparency and use the transparency. So after that, I can select my beams at the edge here and copy the beams here. I can also see the 3D what I've done. And at the elevation area, I can see my columns are starting from the top or the ground level to the top of foundation so i will come to my 3d and select everything and just set my top of level to first floor and do here as zero so after that i'll come back to my ground level and select my columns and come to selected level and do second floor come back to the 3d and set it to from first floor to second floor also do the same as second floor So the next thing to do is to go back to the ground level and copy your columns to the top of foundation. After copying, you can do some adjustments here by doing here ground level zero. So let's check from the 3D. So this is what we've managed to create. So the next thing to do is to select our floor, copy the floor, and also select the first floor, the second floor, and do OK. So when you check from the 3D, you can see we've copied our floors to the next level so we are also going to copy our beams we select all then we just have to do copy to first floor so in first floor we can now select our beams here and change the size or we can come to edit type and do duplicate so we can do 450 that we can select here and also select check the structure field here and change the size to what 450. So we have to change our floor to a transparency of 100. Now we can now select our B copy. the second floor in the roof so when I come to the 3D this is what we have 
So after that, I'll come to the roof area and provide my roof. So with the roof, you are going to use for the architecture area. Just do a rectangle and offset of 900. And do join by using the trim command. You can also change the slope by selecting the lines here to 25. So when I come to my 3D, I can see my roof on top of my building like that and when I check my roof level I have to adjust my view range by doing here 5 meters okay so we are going to also add a footing or a column basis to our model so you come to the structure tab again select this isolated area and select at column So this is how to model a building in Revit, a structural element in Revit from scratch to a pro. So we first add, we first did what? Did the grid lines, after the grid lines, we add our columns. From the columns, we add our beam. And from the beam, we add our floor. And we copy these elements to the top after that we add the roof and the last thing that we did was adding what the column is so the fastest way to model elements in rivet structure elements in the if you have a new question that you want to ask me kindly provide it at the comment section box and also give a comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe Thank you, Shalom, bye, peace, Infinity Road Consort, we inspire the world to the next generation. Bye.